Boulder, Colorado, Deion Sanders has fashioned a new look for himself this spring as head football coach at Colorado. At age 56, the Pro Football Hall of Famer grew out his light beard and often showed up for work in blue color coveralls that otherwise might be worn by a car mechanic. In this case, the style fits his task. Renovations are underway by a repairman who's one year wiser, and grayer. The question now is if it's all good enough in year two after so much fell apart in year one, especially when it seems his player roster is constantly changing. Is Sanders quarterback Sanchi really better after breaking his back last season? Are his blockers up for the job this time after Colorado brought in a whole new starting offensive line to replace last year's? And does the Colorado fan base still believe? Some clues will be revealed Saturday at Colorado's annual interest quad spring game at Folsom Field. The television audience and crowd for this spring game will be much smaller this year than last year, Sanders' first season in Boulder. But it still will likely be the second biggest spring football crowd in Colorado history, better than 2008, when the game drew 17,800. There are at least two general reasons for this. Many CU alumni and fans still believe in the high potential of Deion Sanders after he turned around a downtrodden program that finished 1-11 the season before he was hired in late 2022. I'm hugely optimistic, said Jeff Crawford, a Colorado graduate and donor to CU Athletics. But there are also plenty of reasons to be skeptical after Sanders finished his first season in Boulder with a 4-8 record, including eight losses in his final nine games. Much like last year, Colorado's roster is being remade with dozens of transfer players coming and going. The best teams that I was on weren't the most talented teams, former Colorado and NFL linebacker Chad Brown told USA Today Sports. Talent is only a part of the equation. You've got to get these guys to play together and become a team. So with all the movement in and off of this roster, it just seems like it's an incredibly difficult task to develop players and to grow players and to grow a culture there. So hopefully that part of it is not being overlooked. Instead of being on ESPN, like it was last year, the game will be on the Pac-12 network for one hour, starting at 3 p.m. ET Saturday followed by the Oregon Spring Game at 4 p.m. ET. Instead of a sellout crowd like last year, 47,277, there were 22,000 tickets distributed as of Monday. Both are a far cry from what Deion Sanders wanted. In a video posted this week, he said his team is so much better this spring compared to last year. Night and day, he said on the pre-game show. On paper, He's probably right. His star players return, including Shitua Sanders and two-way phenom Travis Hunter, both of whom have their replica jerseys on sale in the campus bookstore for $109.99.